This is a question uh, from over here. Hi, oh. this is for the European Broadcasting Union. Okay. And um, while I was watching the film, it brought me back to when I was in university. I used to work in a restaurant that Julie Child ate at. And it was very nerve-wracking to serve Julie Child, who always had a series of critiques. <laughs> and we changed many things each time she would come by. Um, at that time, her husband was quite old, and he would fall asleep during the meal. But um, I wanted to ask you if you weren't afraid of portraying this person, but you just said um, you can't have fear hold you back. But how would you prepare for a role like this? Um, she's such a big cultural influence in the United States, so what preparation process did you use? And were you not nervous about it in any way at all? I get nervous the more time I have to think about something. So I deliberately don't give myself too much time. Between jobs, uh, I take a big break and then uh, start working again usually. So I had finished Doubt, which was a very intense drama last year about a nun and her young, uh, the young uh, novice that she mentors. And um, I finished that and two weeks later we began Julie and Julia. So there wasn't a lot of time to either prepare or get nervous about, you know, the size of the, the task. I just worked like crazy to watch all the cooking shows. I am really not that adept a cook as she was, <laughs> especially that rapid fire knife, you know. If I did that in my kitchen, everybody would run because <laughs> there'd be a lot of blood probably. Um, so I, I watched all of the shows, all of her cooking shows. And she was on television for 20 years in America, so she, uh, on and off. Uh, there was a lot to look at. And the most valuable things that I saw and were the very, very first shows that she did when she was herself nervous, but she was, and she had not yet become Julia Child, the way that we, we know her. Um, she was, she still had that swooping voice, but there was something less mannered in it and more real. So it helped me find the real person in seeing her nervous self. So that was good. Um, but yeah, I didn't give myself a lot of time to worry about it. Ilaria De Guardi, Next Family. E pensando al binomio cinema cibo, quali film le vengono subito in mente? Grazie. Oh. I loved a film called Babette's Feast very much. And uh, I thought, well, of course, because it's an Isaac Dinesen story that we came from. <laughs> yeah. um, and I liked uh, Babette, um, like Water for Chocolate. I thought that was great too. Um, mm. Those are the ones I think of. Va bene, grazie. Andiamo alla prossima. Oh, Big Night, of course. Big Night, big night. my God. Big Night. Student, yeah, Stanley Tucci. Fantastic. Sì, qui. Eccomi qua. Ah, prima lì. Si sente sì, bene. Signora Stita, approfittando del fatto che Nora Efron non l'ha accompagnata oggi e quindi lei si può esprimere più liberamente, eh, lei, di tutti i grandi registi che hanno diretta, quale predilige se c'è qualche regista con il quale avrebbe sempre voluto lavorare e che se la chiamasse oggi accetterebbe senza nemmeno leggere il copione? Poi come sceglie i suoi ruoli e se ha mai avuto l'idea di fare la regista? I don't have a favorite director because I don't have a favorite uh, color. I don't have a favorite uh, food. 
I like everything. Um, there have been directors that I have not enjoyed working with, but but I, for the most part, I realize I've been unbelievably spoiled in my career because I've worked with just some of the greatest, greatest directors ever. And Nora's work in this film, absolutely, I, I include in that group because I think it's, she wrote this script, she adapted it from two different pieces of material, and then she directed it with just the lightest, most deft touch. Nothing in this film is hammered at you. In fact, when I read the script, I thought that it had a peculiarly female way of making its point. It sort of circles it, or it's elliptically written or something. You only get down to what the point is at the very end, and that I liked it very much, that it was so subtle. And do I think about being a director? Mm. Some directors would say that I already have directed, uh, or attempted to. <laughs> because I have a lot of opinions, and they are way outside my department, not just the acting department. I think about everything. I think about the, you know, everything. <laughs> Uh, and I'm sure it's a pain in the neck for most of them, but the great ones let me into the circle of collaboration, and I really, really love that. Uh, Nora did in this, in Julia Julia, she let Stanley Tucci and I improvise quite a bit, which, which, and the results ended up in the film. Um, uh, is there a director? Yes, I would like to, Martin Scorsese to be interested in a female character <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll live that long. And, um, yeah, th th there are a lot of really wonderful directors that I've, I'd love to work with again. You know, that I've worked with once. Like I love Spike Jones. I just did a thing with, yes, Adaptation. I loved uh, working with uh, Wes Anderson. I just made Fantastic Mr. Fox, but I was a fox. And I'd like to work with him as a human <laughs> sometime. But no, that, that I feel very uh, happy with with the stable of directors I've been able to work with. Credo che ci sia tempo solo per un'ultima domanda. Su YouTube si può trovare un bellissimo video che io trovo molto emozionante su un galà in cui lei viene celebrata da tutti i più grandi attori americani degli ultimi 50 anni ricordo anche un Jim Carrey che indica Robert De Niro dicendo lei è meglio anche di lui e c'erano Clint Eastwood, Robert De Niro e volevo sapere anche da donna che, che sensazioni si prova in un momento del genere quando dei mostri sacri stanno lì tra virgolette ai suoi piedi a far capire a tutto il mondo quanto lei sia stata un'attrice importantissima per quest'arte. That was one of the great nights of my life and I felt like I should die immediately, but it was already five years ago and I've done so much more. <laughs> But um, no, it was, it was an amazing, amazing evening. I thought my heart would just burst and um, Yeah, I was really floored. That was the that was the American Film Institute, which at home is our highest film honor. So it was for my career, and it, it's great. And I get to return the favor because this year Robert De Niro will receive a Kennedy Center honor, which is one of the highest awards any artist can. It is the highest award in our in our country. So I'm going to present that to him, and I'm working on my tribute now. <laughs> yes, I'm friends with him, yes. I suspect that. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, we're very, very old friends. Signori, credo sia giunto il tempo di salutarci.